Girls do not care about your personality. That's the biggest lie. Because nine times out of ten, they won't even get to know who you are because they look at you and you're cooked, bro. They like, ugh, like this man ugly. Like, look at his face. Look at how he looks. Whatever, bro. If you can't get past the look stage, bro, it's over for you, bro. It's up. Because nobody cares about how funny you are. Nobody cares about how nice you are. You can be the best gentleman of the world, whatever, bro. If you don't have the looks, it does not matter, bro. Okay? So, with that being said, what is the first thing that females notice when they see you? It's your looks, right? Specifically, your face, right? This whole facial area is the first thing that girls notice, okay? And a lot of dudes don't understand this. That's why you be putting on the flyest Jordans and the and the cleanest clothes, you know what I'm saying? You be putting on the chrome hearts and the rick and the, and the, and the whatever y'all got, whatever y'all wearing these days, your Balenciaga boots and shit like that bro they not noticing that bro they don't notice and don't care that your easies is fake they don't care about your yo 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 fake you know what i'm saying balenciaga shoes they don't care about your fake Ferragamo belt they don't care that they have that you got on food daisy stuff bro y'all be spending so much money on designer girls ain't even really looking at that bro you could pull a female in the 2k generic outfit with the brown shirt you know what i'm saying with the gray sweats on with the 2k generics on you could pull a girl in that if your face look right okay so why is that important it's important to know what specifically about your face that girls notice because i know there's probably a lot of dudes watching this video that's like a two or a three out of ten right and you're like well dang i'm cooked because my face ain't that great looking but i'm about to give y'all some hope because it's not necessarily just the looks that they notice right about your face it's actually your emotions let me break let me let me break it down let me explain to y'all when you have emotions right when you have you, when, you, when you feel sad, when you feel happy, when you feel some type of way, no matter what it is, you're going to show that on your face, right? What's the first thing you notice about somebody? You ever look at somebody and immediately like, dang, that person's sad. Dang, that person happy. Wow, look at that person's face. Look at that person's face. You notice their facial expressions before you actually notice the features of their face. That is the first thing that we notice, your facial expressions. And what do we know about facial expressions? They are directly linked to your emotions, bro. Okay, and if you are having a good day, you probably gonna have some great facial expressions that's gonna be attracted to some females, all right? So we gonna get down to business, bro, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how you can actually make it so that your face looks better without even having to do anything. You don't have to look smash, you don't have to do mewing, you don't have to do none of this, bro. You don't have to do none of that at all, bro. So for all of y'all that's trying to upgrade your looks, bro, this video is gonna be for you. But before we do that, it's important to know that when it comes to your looks and when it comes to your face, you have to, have to, have to make sure that you ain't got pimples all over, especially as a grown man, because what grown woman is going to look at a, at a man and be like, oh, he got pimples. That's hot. That's attractive. No, bruh. Right. And how do we avoid getting pimples? We got to make sure our face ain't dirty, which is why I am proud to announce today's sponsor, T. Hanley. T. Hanley makes the entire skincare process for men mad easy and mad simple. Like, look, it's a lot of products out there that you could be using, and it's a lot of different things and a lot of different methods, but T. Hanley makes it very easy and very simple for you to use so that everything goes smoothly when you're taking care of your skin. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably do not understand the importance of a good skincare routine, but let me tell you from my own experience, you definitely need one. Like, bro, recently, you know, I got real busy and I actually fell off on my skincare routine, but I had to hop back on that T. Hanley because your boy was breaking out a little bit. And as soon as I hopped back on it, boom, smooth, clear glass skin, baby. Now, look, I know some of y'all probably don't know exactly where to start, but I'm going to help you out a little bit. I personally recommend Teach Hanley's Level 1 System. Now, the Level 1 System is going to come with a few things. It's going to come with an AM and PM moisturizer. Now, that AM moisturizer got some SPF 20 in it because, you know, you need that sunblock to protect, uh, protect against the sun. It's also going to come with a daily face wash and exfoliation scrub. But the best part is, in every single box, they're going to give you an instruction card that shows you how much when and how to use each product contained inside of it bro it makes it super simple dog look i wish i took this skincare stuff way more serious way earlier in life because if i had i wouldn't have had to struggle with my face and my, my my you know my skin having hyperpigmentation and breaking out and stuff like that i wouldn't have had to go through any of that if i had been on this t Hanley earlier but i was just like you i was just lounging around and like oh it's whatever just splash your water on my face fellas it's not enough i'm just keeping it a bean with you man and these girls know it's not enough why you think they use so many different products is because they understand the importance of having clear skin when are you gonna wake up and 
realize the same thing. You don't want to be a grown man and having pimples and pizza faces. And all. You don't want none of that, bro. You want to have clear glass skin, baby. So that way you can make sure that you present yourself professionally and look good while doing it. Now, because T. Chanley is sponsoring this video, I want to let y'all know that if you click that link down in the pinned comment or in the description, you're going to get 30% off of your first box and a free gift. Now, this free gift, you could choose between two possible gifts. Two possible gifts. You either gonna get the scrubber or you gonna get the nail and face grooming kit. Now, personally, I prefer the scrubber because, you know, when you shower and stuff like that, it's not enough to just use your hand and just use a washcloth. Nah, that scrubber really gonna get in there, dog. It's really gonna get all that dirt off. You know what I'm saying? I need that scrubber. It is a necessary, it is a must. But at the end of the day, both of them are very, very solid. I love both of them. So it's up to you. I'm just telling you, I prefer the scrubber. Oh, and by the way, if you become a T. Chanley member, you're going to get 20% off of everything for life. All right. So get on that. Make sure your skin is nice and clear. T. Chanley, baby. Click that link now. All right. Now, boom, back to business. So the first thing that you need to do with your face, right? Because this is the first thing that girls notice is this area is actually, right? Make sure. Hold on. Hold on. Let me check my notes just so I, just so that I, so I don't get y'all no wrong information, right? Have a calm and relaxed demeanor have a calm demeanor right how do we have a calm demeanor we have to make sure that we ain't got no anxiety no stresses look fellas i understand that life is full of things that's stressful but in order to look relaxed and to feel relaxed you have to understand that there are things in life that you cannot control you can't control every aspect of everything and the sooner you can let go of this the sooner you can actually upgrade your looks because when you have a calm and attractive demeanor people see this girls specifically they see this and this is actually an attractive thing on a biological like psychological level bro when you see somebody that looks very relaxed and nonchalant you want to go up to them you want to go talk to them you want to be their friend imagine seeing somebody and they look nervous and they look you know what i mean standoffish or they look angry or they look some or they look sad you're not gonna want to approach that person. You're not gonna. Oh, I'm gonna leave you alone. You you obviously going through something. You, you sure you good, my nigga? Like, bro, you 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 gonna leave that person alone? But if you have a very friendly, and when I say friendly, I don't mean just cheesing all the time. I just mean like a calm, relaxed demeanor, right? You are more attracted. People want to be around you. They like, oh, like he got good vibes over there. You ever hear that? Like, oh, this person is just good vibes. This person got good vibes. I, I feel like that person over there got good vibes. This is what they talking about. Just having a calm look to your face, bro. All right, now. That doesn't mean that you should like make your face look some type of way. Don't be going, all right, I'm going to make sure that I relax my face as much as possible. It's going to happen naturally. It's all mental, right? And it's all emotional. You have to make sure that you are in a state of just being all right, bro, right? Because nobody wants to be around a panicked person, all right? Because when you get around panicked people, you're going to be the next person that get panicked, right? You ever been around an anxious person, always anxious all the time, bro? It starts to rub off on you, my nigga. Shit, now I'm feeling nervous. I wasn't even feeling nervous, nigga. Now you feeling nervous. Now I'm feeling nervous. We all gonna be feeling nervous. You want to be around people that's calm and relaxed, bro, because that is going to make you feel calm and relaxed. Girls think the same way, bro. They think the same way. Women already have hypersensitive emotions bro they might they hypersensitive bro so when we know that women always got these hypersensitive emotions what are they looking for they looking for a nigga that they could confide in they looking for a nigga that can be like the masculine presence right how you gonna have a masculine presence and you scared about some shit you anxious about shit bro bro you can't control certain things, bro. As a man, bro, you got to be able to just stand up to the test at all times, bro. You always got to be him. You always have to be able to be like, nah, like, I'm cool. Like, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that's number one. Boom. Have a calm, relaxed demeanor. That's the first thing. Second thing. Boom, right? All right, this is really point 1A. This ain't even point two. This is point 1A, right? Now, I alluded to this already. But having a calm, relaxed demeanor, right? Having a calm, being in a calm mental state can actually make your face physically look better. Not just, oh, it gives off this type of energy, but it can make your face physically look better. Uh, this can make your face look better. How does this happen? Okay. Whenever you are anxious or stressed or something like that, right? Mm, my fault. Whenever you're anxious or stressed, you're going to have high cortisol levels, right? Cortisol levels being high, right? It kind of changes your facial structure. It makes you look more puffy. It makes you look more, um, 
just overall just less desirable right like your jawline don't pop as much you know what i'm saying you just look off you ever look in the mirror and you just look off sometimes bro it's because your cortisol level is, is high and those things at your cortisol levels actually drop later on in the day at night because uh, at night, you ready to go to bed, right? You more relaxed and everything. So if you actually look at yourself in the mirror at night, you look better, bro. Why you think parties happen at night? Why you think clubs happen at night? Everybody looks their best at night, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that you're going to look ugly in the morning or nothing like that. But what I am saying is that over the course of the day, you know what I'm saying? Things is winding down. You on your chill type shit, bro, whatever. You're going to feel and look the best at night because you have the least amount of stress. How can we take this knowledge and use it in our everyday lives? We want to make sure that we uh, uh, alleviate as much stress as possible so that our face looks as good as possible. We can have that sharp jawline popping already. You know what I'm saying? We can already we not have that puffiness in our face at all. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to have no bags under our eyes. Nothing like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, as as much as you can, remove stress from your life. And this will make you physically look better. I guarantee if you start drinking more water, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Waking up a little bit earlier, getting your work done. So that way, by the end of the day, shit, I already got everything done, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everything, everything cool. If you start to care less and less and less about things you can't control, you're going to get more bitches. That's facts, bro. That's facts. All right? So that's number one A. Now, we're going to move on, bro, because there's a few more things to this, bro. Bear with me. Bear with me. Take notes. All right? You know what I'm saying? Keep, and I need y'all to study this for real. Cause this is game that you ain't gonna get from nobody else. Everybody else on YouTube, oh, just fucking work out. We all know to work out, man. We already know that shit, bro. Like, come on, come on, bro. Keep it a bean. Now, the next thing that you need to know, your hairstyle matters. Hairstyle matters. Now, when it comes to your hairstyle, there are two different ways that you could look at this. There's cute hairstyles for men, and then there's ma uh, uh, like masculine, or I'm gonna say sexy hairstyles for uh, uh uh for men right what i mean by sexy is it's more masculine like when a female look at you and she's like oh damn that nigga sexy right it's the difference between sexy and cute sexy is like damn that nigga handsome like you know what i'm saying he's a masculine man like you know what i'm saying and then they look at a cute dude oh he's cute you know what i'm saying he's more like a fanboy or not a fanboy but like a uh what you call them like pretty boys the, the skinny skin tight atlanta jeans opium fits and stuff like that bro now and a lot of y'all ain't gonna agree with me on this bro but under the cute category, right? What do we have? Long hair. I ain't gonna lie. That long hair stuff for men, bro, it fall under the cute category. Unless you want some like Chris Hemsworth type shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got the, the body to go with the long hair. Unless you want that type of shit, bro. If you skinny or lean or whatever and you got long hair, you fall under the cute category, my nigga. So all you dread heads, dreads, that go under the cute category, right? If you got a uh, uh, shit, braids. You know what I'm saying? As a man, bro. Now, I'm not saying, you know, twists. Uh, uh, what, those are, these are all black things. If, if you white, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know what you would call it, bro. But if you just have long hair in general, long hair. Now, I'm not saying that you can't or shouldn't have these hairstyles. But I'm just telling you how women perceive these things. Just long hair in general, right? Or if you have dyed hair, same thing. Dyed hair, right? All that shit fall under the cute category. Which means that you will attract females that are probably like you you'll be you'll be able to get away with that up through like college maybe and then after college, you know what I'm saying, people starting to get a little bit more grown, it's gonna be more and more difficult for you. Now, what fall under the sexy category? Pretty much any shortcut, bro. My nigga waves. Waves, you know what I'm saying? Just if you're a white dude, just a generic buzz cut, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And just short hairstyles in general. Short hairstyles. Short hairstyles. Now, again, I'm not knocking on nobody at all. You can have either style and look great. But I'm just telling you how these things are generally perceived by females, bro. I'm keeping it a bean, bro. Right? You know what I'm saying? You so under the sexy look. Again, you got waves, just a regular buzz cut, any short hairstyle. I don't know what you call them. Like, if you got straight hair, I don't I don't know what you would call it. But, you know what I'm saying? If, oh, yeah. Hold on. Under the cute category. I forgot. Curls. My nigga, if you got curls... You, you got them light skin curls, you immediately, yeah, yeah, uh, you, yeah, yeah, you a, you a pretty boy ass nigga. But I'm just telling you, you have to make a decision between these two things. Rather than trying to fall into a category, find what fits you the best. For some of y'all, dreads might be your best go-to option. You may not look good trying to, I mean, uh, trying to be, you know, on this side. 
Some of y'all got to work with this side. It all depends, bro. It all depends on, on, on what your face shape is like, on what your demeanor is like, what kind of females you want to attract. It's all up to you. But the biggest point to take away is that find something that fits you. Don't try to copy other people. Too many of y'all be, oh, I want this type of hairstyle. I want this type. I want this person's hairstyle. Stop trying to copy people all the time and do something that actually work for you, bro. All right? Because hairstyle is important. It's one of the first things that they see because it's not just your face. Your hair, right? They see that shit too, bro. You know what I'm saying? They see all this. You know what I'm saying? And so you got to make sure your hair is on point. All right? Speaking of hair, I need to get a haircut, bro. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I need to fucking line up. Like, I ain't even brush my shit this morning, bro. But I'm dipping, though, so it's all right. All right? So now we're gonna keep it pushing, bro. We only got a couple of more points. Now, sleep and nutrition. That's point number three. Sleep and nutrition. Now, I know that shit says, oh, okay, that's boring, mother. But this kind of goes with the first point. Bro, if you ain't getting enough sleep, if you ain't eating right, your skin gonna look like trash. I ain't even gonna lie. It's gonna look like doo-doo, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you're not getting enough sleep, your skin is gonna look bad. You're gonna be breaking out and shit like that, bro. Your skin is gonna be saggy as hell. You know what I'm saying? Your skin is not gonna be tight to your face. You're gonna have wrinkles and shit by age 25. It's all bad, bro. You gotta make sure that you're eating right. And, but I say nutrition, that includes drinking water. You are like, what, 60, 70% water? So if you 60, 70% water and you ain't drinking water, your face is gonna look dehydrated, dry, wrinkly. You're gonna look like a fucking raisin, man. You're gonna look like a raisin in the sun, bro. All right? Don't let yourself get dehydrated. Stay hydrated so that your skin can pop. Where do you think that glow comes from? That glow comes from that hydration, my nigga. Drink water. I got hella water bottles in here, bro. Drink more water, bro. A lot of y'all be neglecting that shit, bro. All of this stuff actually does make a difference. This stuff can literally take a three to an eight. I promise you, if you start doing these things, it's all about self-care. I'm not even lying to you, all right? Now, that's point number three. Point number four, uh, 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 what I got right here. Now, ear piercings, ear piercings. And this is actually the last one, ear piercings. Now, again, these are how, this is how females is gonna look at them. If you have ear piercings, they see that as, and this is going to come as a shock, but a lot of females see ear piercings as a masculine thing. Now, this is a generally new kind of thing because, you know, you go back to the 60s, 70s or whatever, ear piercings, my nigga, you was full fool if you wore them, if you wore them, bro. But nowadays, right, when women think of a masculine man, he probably got some ear piercings. Right. When you think of a think of a thugged out nigga, think of because because I, I only use thugs because they, they view thugs as like hyper masculine and stuff like that. Right. Think of a thugged out nigga. He probably got ear piercings on. He probably got the chain on, right? He probably got all that type of stuff on. You know what I mean? Tupac. That nigga had a nose ring. These are things that females think about when they think about hyper-masculine men. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go get them, but they do help. I ain't even gonna lie. They do help, bro. I, was, I used to work in a movie theater, right? And there was this girl that I worked with. I forget what her name was, but... There was this girl that I had worked with. I think she was like a year or two older than me. But we were just in conversation one day. And she had told me, she had told me, uh, oh yeah, like I love when dudes have multiple earrings because I feel like it's so, it's like such a manly thing. Like it's so masculine. You know what I'm saying? Now, at the time, I don't know. And the only reason it got brought up is because I had the double earrings and stuff like that. Now, obviously, I don't, I don't know if she was saying that to get at me, but I was in a relationship anyway. So I was like, oh, like, that's cool. And I just kept I just kept it pushing. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even need to entertain that. You know what I'm saying? Because you boy, loyal black man right here. You know what I'm saying? But she was saying that and it made me realize that a lot of girls fuck with that, having the earrings. My nigga, if you ain't got no piercings, bro, I ain't even gonna lie. You losing. This is 2024. It's not 1985, bro. They view the earrings as a masculine thing. All you got to stay away from is the super skin tight jeans, bro. All right. You could even maybe get away with the dangly earrings. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But have some little studs or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Put a little, because it just add a little something. It just adds some around the edges, bro. Have something, have something. For all you earringless fools, bro, go get you some, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna upgrade your looks, bro. I'm not even lying to you, all right? All of this stuff, take notes, take a screenshot, take a picture, whatever, take it home. Show your mama, show your dad, show your cousins, show your uncles, show your teachers, whoever, bro. If you do all this stuff, you are gonna go from like a two or a three to an eight or a nine. I guarantee you, bro. This is practical advice that you can use right motherfucking now, my nigga. All right, so that's all I got for y'all. I love y'all and I'm out of here, man. Peace.